A bubble sort then. I'm just going to jump pretty much straight to this one. What I'll say beforehand is that this sort is really not very efficient. Like uh, computers don't actually use bubble sorts as much as possible because yeah, it's not the best sorting algorithm in the world, but it's a simple one. So we get to start to understand how computers can possibly sort a list of numbers. Speaking of which, here's our list of numbers and I'm going to go over exactly how we're going to sort them. And here is our bubble and the bubble goes around to begin with the first two numbers in the list. And I just concentrate on the bubble and I ask, OK, are those numbers in order? Is 43 and 26 in order? No, because 43 is greater than 26. So because of that, I swap the numbers round. And after the swap, the bubble moves on one. So it moves up to the next set of numbers here. 43 and 18 and the same questions asked. So they in order? No, they're not. So they need to be swapped round. And then the bubble moves up another time, 43 and 39, are they in order? Nope, so they need to be swapped round. And then the bubble moves up again, 43 and 53, are they in order? Ah, yes yeah, they are, so they can stay where they are. All right, all sorted? Well, no actually. So we've got to the end of one, what is called a pass at this list with a bubble going back and forth. But that doesn't mean that the list is necessarily in order. So what needs to happen is the bubble needs to go back to the start again. And the same question is asked again. So 26 and 18, are they in order? No, bubble moves up, 26, 39, they in order? Yes. 39, 43, yes, they're in order. And 43 and 53, yes, they're in order. Okay, fantastic. So we can see uh, as humans that this list is now in order. But what a computer will need to do is move the bubble back to the start again and go through each number. And then it records, has it made any swaps? No, it's got to the end without making any swaps. So then it knows that the list is sorted. And that's a simple demonstration of a bubble sort. Inefficient, but you know, effective, the list is sorted. And a reminder, this works on letters just as well as numbers. That's everything you need to know for a bubble sort. If you found that video useful, please hit the like button and hit subscribe to the channel. Keep learning and revising more computer science by clicking on the videos linked here.